have already shuffled. And we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up. For the two of you, we'll find out what the challenge is going to be, and then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Virgo, the recent past energy between you and your person, well, we got the chariot and it's with the ten of cups. So the chariot is the card above the word pass. It's actually a very fast movement. It, um, it takes off. Very fast, the chariot. So when you get the chariot, someone could be tempted to pressure you into going fast. Or you could be doing this to someone. It could be possible that, yeah, you're tempted to go too far too fast when you get the chariot. So... What I'm getting is that you had a lot of confidence in this connection. And you were ready to get into the driver's seat and take charge of this. Because you felt like this person was someone that you felt like you could have been serious with. Because it's with the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is the card below the word pass. Ten of Cups is everything. It, it could be about happiness overall. It can be about the end-all, be-all, marriage, commitment, childbirth, engagement, living together. So you were ready to go full force with this person. And they could have been feeling the same way about you. For some of you, the connection just took off really fast. And it felt right. This person made you happy and you made them happy. Now let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. we got an Ace of Wands and so the Ten of Pentacles. Well, this Ace of Wands can be about a new beginning. Yeah, so for some of you Virgos, you could be wanting a new beginning. Ace of Wands can be about passion. And it's with the Ten of Pentacles, another great card. Ten of Pentacles is just as good as this Ten of Cups. So, for some of you, what I'm getting is that there could be someone else in your energy. You want some type of powerful new beginning with this person. Or you feel like it could be powerful, explosive. For some of you Virgos, this... I'm just getting it's someone different than this recent past person. Or it's someone different than the person that you're involved with. You feel like you could have some great, passionate new beginning with someone else. And you feel like it could, it could, it has a potential to be serious with the Ten of Pentacles. And the two of you could prosper. Ten of Pentacles can be... Just everything would be going good. You feel positive about this new beginning that you want with someone. And like I said, I'm getting it. For some of you, it's different than the person that you're with. Or it's a different person from this recent past energy that we just talked about. Yeah, it's not the same person that... That's that we just talked about with the chariot. Yeah, some new beginning you want. A fresh new start. And you feel it's going to be, it could prosper. It could actually go somewhere. Now, let's move on over. Let's see what's coming up for the challenge. We've got the King of Wands and the Empress. Now, the King of Wands can be um, caring and protective feelings. And the Empress can be about abundance, just having it all. It could be a lot of attraction when you get the Empress. So this is telling me that you got caring feelings for this person. You could feel like you want to um, protect the connection or um, protect 
this person in some kind of way. Caring and protective feelings as the King of Wands. The both of you are very attracted to each other. This, for some of you, this is this person that you got this Ace of Wands with. This person you want a new beginning with. Both of you are very attracted to each other. And you, you, you got emotions for this person. But let's move on over. Let's see what the outcome is. Okay, we got the High Priestess. And it's with the Nine of Swords. Wow. The Nine of Swords, a card that's below the word outcome. That's clearly showing stress. So you could be stressing this new beginning that you want with this, this Empress. You could be stressing it. For some of you, you would have sleepless nights. And it's indicating because it's with the High Priestess, the card that's above the word outcome. For some of you, you, you may not have heard from this person in a while. Yeah. You could feel like this person is being pursued by other people. Because the uh, High Priestess can be a mystical time when people are drawn to you or th when people are drawn to the High Priestess. People are drawn to the High Priestess, men and women. It's a potent time for love. Um, men and women alike for friendship and romance. That's what you get with the High Priestess. People are attracted to you. And you feel that this person could be like the High Priestess. Having other people maybe fighting for her attention or his attention. And the High Priestess is the type that will go quiet. Just go silent. So that's why I'm saying a lot of you haven't heard from this person or the communication is stopped or it's just not coming in like you would like for it to. So for some of you, you could be stressing about this. Like I said, you're very attracted to this person and I'm getting they're very, they're very attracted to you also. You've got emotions for this person. You want a new beginning with them. You got a lot of passion for them. But I'm just kidding. You haven't heard from this person in a while. Or the communication is lacking. High priestess will go silent. Yeah, so that is the reading that I have for you, Virgo. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, that way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extent of this reading, where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Virgo, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this virus season hang in there it's gonna pass and we'll all get through this so stay strong and take good care i hope you come back and join me for the next virgo reading just in case this one did not resonate maybe the next one will also keep in mind the roles of the people can be switched they can be reversed meaning you could be them or they could be you and if you're not dealing with anyone romantically the other person could actually be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or a situation. So just take the reading for however it resonates. Because once again, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. So Virgo, I can never say it enough. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading. And take care.